Chronic pain is one of the leading reasons for disability worldwide. It's estimated that one in five people suffer from a chronic pain condition. And despite putting tons of money and research hours into investigating new chronic pain targets, we really haven't come up with much um, in the past few decades. So this leaves clinicians with very few options to prescribe to their chronic pain patients. Some of the most common options include opioids, and I'm sure all of us are very aware of the issues that exist with these drugs. So in our science translational medicine paper, we identified a new target that's non-opioid based for both chronic touch pain and spontaneous pain. Using six different animal models of chronic pain, we identified transient receptor potential canonical 5, or TRPC5, as a valid pain target for mechanical hypersensitivity and spontaneous pain. So in five of these six models, including models of post-surgical pain, chemotherapy-induced peripheral neuropathy, migraine, and sickle cell disease, we found that we could give a TRPC5 inhibitor to the animal either before that injury happened or after that injury occurred to alleviate or to block all of the touch pain that resulted from that injury. One of the factors driving pain in all of these models is the lipid lysophosphatidylcholine, or LPC. In all of the models that were effectively alleviated by TRPC5 inhibitors, we found elevated levels of LPC specifically at the site of injury. We also injected LPC into animals and it caused them to have spontaneous pain. We found that LPC was capable of activating both the mouse and human form of TRPC5 when it was expressed in non-native cells. But perhaps most excitingly, using human organ donor tissues, we found that TRPC5 is expressed in approximately 75% of human sensory neurons, which makes this a very exciting potential pain target, uh, specifically for conditions in which LPC might be a biomarker. So if you're one of the 1.5 billion people worldwide who suffer from chronic pain, TRPC5 may be a new therapeutic for you. In fact, the lipid that we identified in the study that's elevated in our models of chronic pain has been shown to be elevated in patients that have rheumatoid arthritis and fibromyalgia. So that means that blocking TRPC5 in those individuals may alleviate their chronic pain. Another exciting thing about our study is that Blocking TRPC5 did nothing to impact or dampen our sense of touch. And so that means that people who take, who take a therapeutic for TRPC5 could still uh, feel their coffee cup when they pick it up and feel their grandchild when they pick their grandchild up. It doesn't dampen down our sense of touch. It will simply alleviate the chronic pain. One of the most rewarding aspects of this study is finally being able to collaborate with our long-term lab friends who brought into the study human tissues. Um, another really exciting thing is being able to collaborate with new faculty in the department who brought in high throughput molecular expertise. And all of this combined with our lab's electrophysiological expertise, as well as the many different mouse models of chronic pain and behavioral assays, really brought this together to be a study that is much greater than the sum of the parts.